moving on to the next place, even though there's so much more of that mine unexplored. We spent 10, over 10 hours in there, and my feet are killing me from walking miles in those boots. So it really, we really have to move on. It's been a lot of time in there, even though there's that ladder. I'd like to go back, but I don't know. This is so off route. It's gonna be very out of the way. Next on our journey, we decided to check out the Folklingen Ironworks, a steel factory that was preserved and now serves as a museum. This facility originally opened in 1881 and closed in 1986. We really wanted to see how well it was preserved and even learn a bit about how iron and steel were made. Okay, so we're in the museum, but there's currently a Queen Elizabeth thing going on. So you've got all of this cool old industrial machinery just surrounded by Queen Elizabeth stuff. It's kind of weird. Covered all the windows too. Dark. Let's just go to the ironworks part because yeah. it closes at seven. It's already getting pretty late. Okay. We're doing it. And that is how this place was powered. <laughs> With the knob. <laughs> the noise is amazing. And here's the full size version right here. It's pretty impressive. And there's two of them. It's more that way too. These are the largest turbines I've ever seen. So far I'm liking this place. It's pretty cool. Also, there's a German World Cup game going on right now, so we have the whole place to ourselves, basically. It's still dirty in here. It's cool how they left it like that. The only thing in here would actually rock. Sound effects of what it would have Yeah, they got sound effects in here. I'm sure it would have been much louder. Sintering would heat the iron ore to extreme temperatures to change the powder ore into a solid that can be used later in the blast furnace. It creaks just like a real abandoned building. This is cool here. You can see an area they refurbished into an art gallery and then right next to it is left exactly how it was when it was abandoned. I think we're going to the fire tornado and laboratory. Fire, fire tornado sounds really cool. Let's see what that is. Oh, this looks really cool right here. These little bucket hangers. Once again, another thing from an abandoned steel mill that is like inspiring for creating a theme park or something. Like how perfect of a ride vehicle would this be? Yeah. Some type of suspended coaster. Do they swing at all? Yeah. Wow, there are a lot of these little buckets. A lot of them. <laughs> they, had a lot of iron to move they must have used these instead of those big pots that we saw at the other factories. Mm -hmm. But actually, these are just iron themselves, so they would have melted from having molten steel in them, right? Maybe they were using some other material around. Here's a massive lift hill for them. This would make an amazing theme park ride. A theme park needs to make at least a section themed to an abandoned steel mill. That would be lanes. incredible. Four lanes of yeah. Up. An abandoned control room.
so we're in a section that has a bunch of preserved artifacts now. We saw one of these at the abandoned one. I think this area is like a whole history of steel making. The building we're in now is where the material for putting in the blast furnace would have been stored, some of it at least, and they would fill these monorail cars in here and send them off to where they needed to be. It's like a giant Monsters Inc. door factory in here with all the monorail track. There's a control booth for this area. So they need 12 of these to charge one blast furnace one time. Wow. There's something smoking up there. Not sure what that is. They have this control room opened up. It's mostly gutted out though. You can see all of the different um, monorail tracks. Oh, on. there it is. It's a wasp. It's a wasp. Okay, okay, he's chasing me. This is just like a real abandoned place. There's wasps chasing us too. Here's another lift hill for the monorail buckets. Would have been pretty crazy to see that all in action. Goes to the top of the blast furnace, which we are going to head up to shortly. This blast furnace is a lot more intact than the one we saw in Belgium. The observation deck. Okay, so there's this sign here. We're not sure exactly what it says, even after translating it. So I think well steep steps. it says no climb, do not climb. Probably means do not climb off of the path. Maybe, but it looks like it's gonna enter something. Oh, we'll just see if somebody says anything. The door is wide open. See, that's close. They don't want you going like here. I guess. This is a really cool view right here. Between all the blast furnaces and heating units. Getting pretty high up now. Something about a hard hat. So right here is where workers would have manually dumped out the buckets into the blast furnace. This is cool, just walking between all these buckets. The control room at the top of this lift looks really cool. It's hard to show. You can see I'm holding the camera to prevent glare so you guys can actually see inside. That would be quite the walk up that staircase there. I think basically the stuff would be propelled upwards there and then would fall down from gravity. It says you need a hard hat. 
but I have no idea where to get one, so we're just gonna go. This looks pretty dirty right here. <laughs> <laughs> Made it all the way up. It's a nice view. We've got all that bando down below us. And then the active steelworks is out there. And then you can see the torpedo cars, that train was just moving. There's fire coming out of the active steel mill now. They're making steel right now. So those two mountains out there are really just slag heaps. Basically piles of waste from the steel making process. So we just finished up at the Volklinger, Volklinger yeah. Ironworks, something like that. I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation. I would say that is definitely the best refurbished, abandoned place, open to the public, that I've ever experienced. It seems like they only refurbish what you had to walk on. So past the, uh, the do not cross is just basically abandoned steel plant. Right, and you still have to stick to the main pathway so it's not like a complete urbex free for all. But the pathways go pretty much everywhere and you can see everything that you would want to see. If you want like an urbex experience without the illegality, then and this place safe. is a very good yeah. place for you to come to. Or if you just like checking out awesome old industrial sites. The fact that they didn't really clean cool. anything is like what really made it. So this cool. place gets the proper people, refurbishment of a bando seal, seal of approval. I don't think anywhere else we've been has gotten No, <laughs> this is the first place to receive our official award, our official commendation. We should create like a... I liked Hotel Henry's. A, that was good. I'll give oh you yeah, a Hotel Henry cool. was cool, but that wasn't like preservation though. That was like... It was though. They had like original fireplace mantles, okay, original windows. Somewhat. That one gets It hits a, a hotel. It has to be nice it and gets, clean. We haven't posted that video yet. No, we, we should see that. That gets a seal of approval, but not as big as this place. Well, this is still basically abandoned. We yeah. just walk ways through it. Yeah. <laughs>